thing, uh, domain and range of polynomials, domain is going to be the x-axis, the input, and the horizontal. I'm going to look at the line going, that is horizontal, excuse me. Range is going to be the y-axis, the output, and whatever's happening vertical, vertically with a function with my the behavior. So set notation. Set notation is very specific. It says that x such that x. So a little brace right here, x, the vertical line means such that, x, and then whatever you conclude. And then interval notation, you have the brackets and then you have parentheses. So the brackets mean to include and the symbols for the include are gonna be equal, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. And then the parentheses mean to exclude, and that's going to be not equal to, less than, or greater than. So you have three different symbols you can use for interval notation. Set notation uh, for the range is going to be y such that y. So you're going to get this brace y vertical line such that and then whatever you come up with and then interval notation is the exact same thing you know the brackets are parentheses and then you have include the symbols remember it's equal to it's greater than or equal to less than or equal to does not equal less than, greater than. Okay, so let's talk about domain and range. Uh, state the domain and range of the polynomial function below using interval notation. So interval notation is gonna be either the brackets or the parentheses. And then you're gonna look at the horizontal or the X axis right here. So you start from the left and this is negative infinity. There's nothing stopping your graph from expanding left on the x-axis, so that's good. So let's look at the right. There's nothing stopping your graph from going from approaching positive infinity to the right on the x-axis. So in this case, since all numbers are included, negative infinity and positive infinity. Okay, so then next let's look at the range. The range, is there anything you're gonna start from the bottom and then you're gonna go to the top. So down here is negative infinity, I'm sorry, negative infinity. Is there anything stopping this from going down? No. And up here is positive infinity. Is there anything stopping it from going up? No, so everything is included, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, state domain and range of the polynomial function using set notation. This is the one with the braces, and this is the x-axis first. So is there anything stopping the graph from going negative on the x-axis? No, so it's negative infinity. Is there anything stopping the graph from increasing on the x-axis positively? No. So it's positive infinity. But here's the thing. When you talk about negative infinity and positive infinity, you're also saying that this is all real numbers. And that's what that symbol means. So it's going to be x such that x is an element of all real numbers, which is just that big R. Okay, so let's talk about domain. That's done. Let's talk about range. We start at the bottom. We can see that our function is increasing to negative infinity. That's good. So if we look at what's happening when we approach the y values vertically, we're approaching positive something happens right here. So right here, I have a 
restriction. And this restriction is at six. So basically, everything that happened from here on down is included in my function. So you're saying that the y value can get no larger than this six. And we know that it's included because of the fact that it, it goes through the line of y equals six. I have a point right here and a point right here. It only needs to go through it once though. So we are gonna say that y such that y is less than or equal to six because all these numbers are less than or equal to the number six. And that is your restriction. Okay, state the domain and range of the polynomial function using interval notation. This is negative infinity. Nothing is stopping it from going left. So that's good. On our function, nothing is stopping it from going to positive infinity. So negative infinity comma positive infinity. It looks like a sideways eight. Okay. And then we start from negative infinity on the y axis. There's nothing stopping it from going down. And then we go to positive infinity on the y axis and there's nothing stopping it from going up. So it's the same thing, negative infinity to positive infinity.